This coming weekend on Saturday, March 13th at 4 p.m. at the Augusta Fire Hall is the annual Hampshire County Future Farmers of America Ham, Bacon, and Egg Sale. This annual auction-style sale, which has been going on for decades, is the single biggest fundraising event of the year for the FFA. Instructor Bill Cheney said that each of the last several sales have netted the organization between forty and fifty thousand dollars. Cheney said that this year's sale features around two hundred and forty ham, bacon, and egg products for auction. We visited Hampshire High School to see how the process of preparing the ham and bacon is done. Cheney told us that the hogs are raised on various farms owned by the students' families. The hogs are not given steroids or other artificial boosters, but are grown with high-quality protein feed. After they have been raised, they are processed for slaughter by a West Virginia approved and inspected slaughterhouse in Hampshire County known as 4G's. Then the meat in the form of whole hog carcasses that have been split in two is received at Hampshire High School at the FFA Meat Lab facility just behind the Ag Science Building. We ask a few of the students to explain how the rest of the process, curing, smoking, and trimming, is done in order to get the hams and bacon ready to be sold. My name is Daniel Carter. I'm with the Hampshire County FFA, and I'm in 10th grade. Today, we're going to take you behind the scenes of how we get the hams and bacons ready for the ham bacon egg sale. Hi, I'm Josh Lockhart. I'm a junior in Hampshire High, and these are hams. These hogs average weigh between 250 to 300 pounds when they're processed. We, they feed them a protein feed, which gives them their shape and muscle texture to them. We cure these hams for 55 days in a salt sugar compound, and then we trim them to make them like a football shape. Um, then we set them in a smoke, smoker for 16 hours and then we pull them out and hang them up for ready for sale. Now the bacon you see have been cured for 12 days, 7 to 12 days and have been smoked for 16 hours also. My name is Troy Bennett. I'm a senior at uh, Hampshire High School. Yeah, I'm in the FFA program and uh, this is our smoker. We, uh, smoke, ba we smoke them about six, each piece of meat about 16 hours. And uh, over here we load our hick hickory, sh hickory shavings. It gives, it gives the bacon's uh, hickory flavor. Uh, I'm Nathan Stop, sophomore. Uh, we can put 24 bacons in here, as you can see. We're halfway filled up. And make sure to tag your out, and it's got a decent amount of space into it before we can smoke them. Uh, we, can, we also smoke hams in here, and uh, one of the main things is that the meat cannot touch each other or will not be properly smoked. This is actually what produces the smoke right here. We take a cup full of paper, uh, sawdust, as you can see right here. We dump it in here, and it's got to be pretty full. Then there's an auger right here. It comes down right through here. It's run by this motor right here. It comes into a burner. It burns the smoke. But burns the chips to make the smoke to go into this thing right here where it says the bacon's can be smoked. The final step before the ham and bacon products are finished is cutting, slicing, and trimming. In this stage, the meat is cut and trimmed into their desired sizes. Any undesirable portions are trimmed off of the meat so that only quality cuts are sold to the public. Since it involves the usage of power saws and very sharp knives, this step is usually done by instructors and their assistants. After this step is completed, the products are ready for this year's auction. This Saturday, March 13th, we're having our annual ham bacon egg sale. There's going to be a lot of hams, bacon, and eggs for sale and at the Augusta Fire Hall. At Four o'clock, and we're having ham sandwiches for sale. 